Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. In the today's video, we will be discussing about the interesting concepts of carbon and its compound, which is a very important topic into your CBSE science examinations. So, first students, we will be discussing about the five year past five year questions, right? And here, what we are going to discuss the previous year questions that is from the year 2019 to 2023. So, here we have questions ranging from 1, 2, 3 and 5 marks individually, right? And uh, we can see that we will be discussing about for every year paper, okay? So, for fun mark, you have like two questions in the year 2020, two in the year 2021, one in the year 2022 and again one more question in the year 2023. So, in all children, you have six total questions asked giving you six marks for the topic. Similarly, for two mark question, you have one question in the year 2019, two in the year 2021 and one in the year 2022. So, in all giving you four questions, right, and total eight marks for the same. Lastly, you have three mark questions, right, which are given in the year 2020, right. Then you have two more questions in the year 2022, holding three total questions and nine marks for you. And finally, for five marker question children, you have two questions in the year 2019, then you have two questions in the year 2023, which is in all giving you four questions holding 20 marks for you. So, with the students, you can understand there is a great weightage for this particular topic into your exam. So, students, let us look into this graph here. It will give you a better understanding that such a consistency is maintained for all the years. Minimum three questions are there for every year. So, with the students, it helps you to analyze how much important this topic is, correct? And as it is, like there is a particular reason why this is more important, carbon. Carbon is the basic element you would find into every living organism. So, it is very important that we know about its compound, its properties and all of the features that we are that are present into this, okay? So, let us begin. First, we will be uh, looking at some questions which are there for the last five years and then we will also answer a few. Okay. So, let us begin first. This is a question from the year 2019. Both of these are long answer questions holding five marks for you. Let us look at the question here. You have to write the chemical formula and name the compound which is the active ingredient of alcoholic drink. Then you have to list its two uses. Also, you have to write the chemical equation and name of the product form when this compound, once we identify the compound, when it is reacting with sodium metal, hot concentrated sulfuric acid. So, the beauty of these long answer questions is that you do not have to write down a very big paragraph. If you look into this question students, they are asking so many questions here. They have first asked you to write down the chemical formula and name of the compound, correct? They are also asking you to write down the list of uses. They are also asking you to mention the chemical equation when they are reacting with these two compounds. So, as you are getting individual questions even in the long answer ones, you can treat them as like you know short answer question and answer accordingly. Okay. The next goes for the second question as well. What is methane? Draw its electrode dot structure. Very easy. Name the type of bonds formed in this compound. Why are such compounds? You are provided with poor conductor of electricity and have low melting and boiling point. Also, what happens when this compound burns with oxygen? So, again into this long answer question students, they are asking so many short answers, right? From the same year, you again also have a short answer type question which is holding two marks for you. In the three test tubes A, B and C, there are three different liquids. They have distilled water, underground water and distilled water in which there is a little calcium sulfate present which is dissolved in it. Equal amount of soap solution is added to each test tube and then the contents are shaken. In which test tube will be the length of the foam will be the longest. You have to justify your answer. Right? So, because you know what all elements you are taking into the test tube such as for example, uh, distilled water, underground water and distilled water with pinch of calcium sulfate. You would see the least into the underground water because it might have a lot of impurities present followed by distilled water and the highest into the calcium sulfate solution, right? 
Next is for the year 2020 children. So in this students, you have two questions, right? First is a very short answer type question. Name a cyclic unsaturated carbon compound and that is again a one marker thing. And then you have an assertion reasoning type question. Here you have to just select the option. That's why it's like a multiple choice question. You don't have to, you know, solve it much. Esterification is a process in which a sweet smelling substance is produced. That's the assertion. Whereas into the reasoning, when esters react with sodium hydroxide and alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid are obtained. So you have to analyze both of these statements and select the correct option and write accordingly. From the same year student, there is a long answer question holding 3 marks. The question says, 3 ml of ethanol is taken and you have taken it into a test tube. And it is warmed gently in a water bath. Correct? Then you have 5% solution of alkaline potassium permanganate and it is added first drop by drop to the solution and then in axis. So, you have to answer these three different questions which are asked. How is 5% solution of KMnO4 prepared? How will you prepare the 5% solution? State the role of alkaline potassium permanganate in this reaction and what happens when you add it into axis. Correct? And write down the chemical equation for this particular reaction. So, again a long answer type question but they are asking you three different short answers to this one. For the next pay your paper that is into the year 2021, you are provided with four different questions. Two are very short answer, one mark each and two are short answer having two marks each. Okay, it is analyze the question, very short answer. Write a name of allotropes of carbon, very easy. Write the structural formula of organic compound in which hetero atoms are present. Right? These are only one one mark questions, you have to answer only into one statement. For two marker questions. Carbon forms strong bonds with most other elements making the compound exceptionally stable. That is true. Carbon is forming strong bonds. Why? We have to justify this reason here. It shares a lone pair of electrons forming a covalent bond with the molecule making it very strong. Write the electron dot structure of methane and ethane. Whenever there is an electron dot structure, it becomes very easy. You just have to Draw the structure depending upon the, even the chemical formula is given to you here. So, it becomes very easy for you to answer. So, for methane, you can draw it this way. Right? Four hydrogen here. And just show the bonding here. Similarly, you can draw it for ethane as well. It just you have two carbon molecules and four hydrogen molecules attached to it. Here in this question students, you have to determine the molecular formula of these carbon compounds. Very easy, right? You have to just write the molecular formula for methane, propane and you have to also state carbon compounds which have low melting point and boiling point. What is the reason for that? Okay. So, this is a very short answer type question giving two marks for you. This is from the same year paper that is year 2022. One more a short answer type question giving you three marks, correct? Draw two different possible structures of saturated hydrocarbons having four carbon in its molecule. You have to draw the structure of saturated hydrocarbon here. And what are these two structures of hydrocarbon having same molecular formula called, correct? And you have to also write the molecular formula and the common name of this compound, write the molecular formula of this alkyne, correct? So, as this is an, like a little short answer question, not a short answer, like a short answer question still, giving you 3 marks. But again into this question, there are so many small different questions are asked to you, which makes it rather easy to answer it well. From the same year paper, you have another question for 3 marks children. Write the molecular formula of benzene and draw its structure. Okay, It is a molecular formula for benzene that we have and you have to draw its structure. Write the number of single and double covalent bonds which are present in the molecule of benzene. So, what you have to do here, you have to write down the number of single and double covalent bonds which are present and into the molecule of benzene. And which compounds are called alkynes? You have to answer that. 
So into this question, you are asked with three different types. You have to draw about the benzene and its structure, the single and double covalent bonds into the molecule of benzene, and what are alkynes. Okay. Another question from same year, which is an assertion reasoning question, holding one mark for you. Yeah, uh, you are given with the assertion statement: burning of natural gas is an endothermic reaction. What is an endothermic reaction? Where the heat or the energy is used into the reaction. So that's correct. When you are burning the natural gas, the heat will be used up. Next is the reason which says methane gas combines with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So first you have to state here whether they both are like you know true or false. But even if you see the assertion and reason, if it might be correct, the reason is not the correct explanation. Correct. So with this, you can eliminate your option A very easily. That assertion is like the reasoning is not the correct explanation of your assertion statement. So for multiple choice questions, it's always better to eliminate your incorrect option. Now from the very recent year papers, children, year 2023, this is a very short answer type question giving you one mark. Okay, you have to actually find the correct option here. Right. Always mark such points. Mark the correct option. Consider the structure of three cyclic carbon compounds A, B, and C. So you have provided with three cyclic compounds, correct? And select the correct option from them. A and C are isomers of hexane, and B is benzene. A is an isomer of hexane, B is benzene, and C is isomer of hexane. Okay. The third statement is A is saturated cyclic hydrocarbon, and B and C are unsaturated. Whereas the D statement says A is cyclohexane and B and C are isomers of benzene, right? So you have to analyze these three structures which are given to you and accordingly answer the statements. The next question here, students, from the same year is a long answer question holding five marks. A saturated organic compound A belongs to homologous series of alcohols. On heating, a with concentrated sulfuric acid as 443K, it forms an unsaturated compound with molecular mass 28U. Okay. Now the compound B on addition of one molecule of hydrogen into the presence of nickel changes to a saturated hydrocarbon C. You have to identify what is A, B and C that we have used into the reaction. You have to also write down the chemical equation of conversion from A to B, right? So what we have done is A when it is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid, it is forming B. So you have to show this chemical equation here. What happens when the saturated hydrocarbon C which is formed, when this is undergoing combustion on burning, what will happen with compound C, okay? You have to state one industrial application of hydrogenation reaction that we have and name the product formed when compound A reacts with Sodium. When you know what is compound A, you can easily determine what will be the product form when it reacts with the sodium. So, by identifying just three, these of three elements, you can actually easily answer the rest of the questions which are given to you here. Okay? One more long answer question from the same paper children, 5 marks. You have with the help of diagram, show the formation of missiles when soap is applied into oily dirt. So, missile is a kind of a structure which will take up the material, like you know, it engulfs the material and it takes everything in, right? You have to, with the help of a diagram, show that missile's formation and take two test tube X and Y with 10 ml of hard water in each. In test tube X, add few drops of soap solution. In Y, add few drops of detergent solution. You have to shake both of them very well for the same amount of time. Now, after doing this, Two questions are asked. In which test tube the formation of foam will be more and why? Whether into the soap solution or into the detergent solution. In which solution the curdy solid formation is done and why? So for this particular question children, this 5 marker question is also divided into two different sections here. First you are answering about the missiles and the formation of them. Whereas into the second one you are discussing about the soap and the detergent solution. So, with the students, we can see that what all different types of questions are asked from this topic. There is a wide range or variety from this topic that we observe. Not much of a pattern which you can see. 
but we can try some to like you know answers a few question here so let us start by answering the first long question which was there into the year 2019 paper it's about the chemical formula and name of the compound which is the active ingredient into your alcoholic drinks you have to state the uses you have to write the chemical equation and what will happen when you are reacting with the following compound let's answer one by one so first is the chemical formula okay so you know it is given that it is an active ingredient okay so the active ingredient that you find into alcoholic drinks is your ethanol then you have to write down the chemical formula okay which is c2h5 oh then what are the uses of ethanol ethanol is actually used as an antibacterial compound so when the doctor you know gives you an injection before that the doctor wipes up the area where the injection will be inserted in that type you will be using ethanol it's like a medical wipes it is also present into your hand sanitizer right in body lotions as preservatives and as stabilizer also ethanol is used so these are the uses for the ethanol correct and uh, when you write down the chemical equation with ethanol reacting with sodium metal so you have c2h5oh reacting with sodium correct it will be producing c2h5ona along with hydrogen so it is reacting here with sodium metal it is reacting here with sodium metal and when you react the same uh, element that is your ethanol with concentrated sulfuric acid right it will be producing an alkene along with water so you are producing ethene along with water so children the next question that we have here is esterification in a process into which sweet smelling substance is produced so this is the assertion statement that we have and for the reasoning when esters react with sodium hydroxide and alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid are obtained so we have we are provided with like four options here because it's an assertion reasoning statement you have to select which of the following will be correct so if you can say both a and r are correct and r is the correct explanation or both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation a is true but r is false whereas a is false but r is true correct so this is a one marker question from the year 2020 children so first let us look at the solution here the solution that we can say is option d is correct Your your assertion statement is also correct. Your reasoning statement is also correct. But the reasoning is not the correct explanation for your assertion. Let us look why. So, esterification is a reaction. Yes, it is a type of a chemical reaction in which alcohol and carboxylic acid react with each other. And when that alcohol and carboxylic acid react with each other, they form a compound which is a sweet smelling compound. So you can say that an ester is formed. So if you look at the complete reaction here students you have the complete reaction of RCOOH plus ROH undergoes esterification reaction and form a ester molecule so the assertion is true and when that ester reacts with sodium hydroxide the products which are formed are alcohol and carboxylic acid correct this is known as hydrolysis of ester because you are breaking down the ester molecule into alcohol and carboxylic acid again right so this alkaline hydrolysis of ester the process here is called as saponification correct so this here we have the complete reaction where you have an ester molecule reacting with sodium hydroxide giving you carboxylate salt and alcohol correct so again here reasoning statement comes out to be true both assertion and reason are true but it is not the correct explanation for the first statement right and hence the correct answer is option b the next question children is from the year 2023 it's a five marker long question let's go for the question first you have a saturated organic compound a it belongs to homologous series of alcohol what do you do heat a with concentrated sulfuric acid at a particular temperature it forms an unsaturated compound b which is having a molecular mass of 28 u now the compound b which is formed on addition with one mole of hydrogen in the presence of nickel changes to a saturated hydrocarbon c now they are asked few four questions regarding to that which you have to answer first of all you have to identify a b and c 
So A over here is your ethyl alcohol, right? You are doing what? You are A is belonging to the series of homologous alcohol. Okay, your A sample is your ethyl alcohol or ethanol. Okay, then it is going to be reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid. When you react HCl with sulfuric acid, it produces ethene. Okay, and now this compound onto this compound, like onto this ethene molecule. When there is one mole of hydrogen reacting in the presence of nickel, it will lead to the formation of ethane. So you identified A, B, and C: ethyl alcohol, ethene, and ethane. Then you have to write down the chemical equation. So you have your ethyl alcohol A reacting with sulfuric acid, forming B, which is your ethene. This is your ethanol. So that's your second question. The third question says, when you have this compound C, it undergoing combustion. That means it's burning. Right in the presence of oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and water. What is your compound C? Compound C is ethane. So when ethane reacts with oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and water. So when compound C undergoes combustion, it produces carbon dioxide and water. The next question was the industrial application. So in petrochemical industry, you use this process of hydrogenation. And by doing this hydrogenation, you convert alkenes into alkenes, right? When you're converting alkene, that is your product B into product C, correct? That is the process where you're doing hydrogenation. You're adding hydrogen to it. So alkenes will be converted into alkenes, that is paraffins, or you can also convert it into cycloalkenes. Now this will be used to prepare any you know, any kind of vegetable ghee from vegetable oil. So all of these conversions, because you are converting the hydrogen amount, you are converting the amount of hydrogen which is present into the substance. So that's the industrial application that you would find. And the last question says, what happens when your A compound is reacting with sodium? That means your ethanol reacts with sodium. So it produces sodium ethoxide, C2H5ONA, sodium ethoxide, and there is also release of some hydrogen gas into the process. C2H5OH, you have your ethanol reacting with sodium molecule producing sodium ethoxide and hydrogen gas is liberated into the reaction. So students, I hope this was helpful and you were, be, you were able to understand all the questions that we discussed today. Apart from these, if you have any doubts into the questions, do write us into the comment section. Like, share and subscribe for more such interesting videos. Until next time, thank you and happy learning.